Off a brand new benchmark is Tower of Fantasy for the PC. As you can see today we're running at 720p on the lowest preset with once again using my custom config. I just wanted to hit that out before I actually showed you, told you the, the games I will be running on. I just wanted to show you guys that real fast. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, so today we're testing it out on the Intel Core i3-7100U with the Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode. I'm actually running at 70% of 720p, not actually just 720p native. And uh, as you can see, the 16GB of DDR4 RAM definitely helps. This is going to be fun. I imagine we won't always get the frame rate we're looking for, but for the most part... Don't do that. Never been a fan of the hounds. So as you can see, I managed to make this game run on anything, even the 4600, which I showed you guys before. This may run worse because I'm not running as low as the 4600. Just keep that in mind. In case you guys see it, say that yourself that the 46 ran better. I'm using plus I have a better CPU. It had a better CPU for the 4600, but. I'm not running as low settings. The game still looks quite good, as you can see. Even now, the game still looks rather decent. So we run into issues like this where, the, obviously, I told you the i3 is a bottleneck. It has only 2.4 gigahertz, so not really the best in terms of being able to handle itself with, with any game that's demanding in any watch, shape, or form. My CPU will normally always be the bottleneck, and this GPU will never be fully utilized. For a lot of games I test lately, I've run into this issue where I can't hit 99% on my GPU. This will not be any different from that, as you can see. He but it's doing close enough, you know? This can run on low, extremely low end hardware. Obviously, this is meant for, you know, this is a mobile game ported over to PC. You can run this on basically anything. As long as you change some settings, you can run this on anything. But once again, I will leave the link in the description for the config file as well, in case you guys are curious and you want to test it out. But the 4600 could get 60 FPS as well, so this can run on a potato. The RAM is over 8 gigabytes of RAM. So if you have the extra RAM, it definitely helps. You don't necessarily need it, but having it always helps out why did it freeze right there right into gameplay are you kidding me i'm not i'm not doing this over i'm gonna wait there you go i knew you could do it because that was just crazy to me but you see this is the issue with the low end cpu the cpu will catch you up like that cpu will do this to you but for the most part we're gonna hit 60 so if you're wondering why aren't you testing higher than 60, why the hell would I do it on integrated graphics? Tell me. Tell me why. But once again, don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. It's Jamal Rule 16, the guide to get you running games on low-end hardware all day long, bro. I am definitely the place to be. You want to see some running on low-end hardware? I'll get it done for you. Or at least make it so that you have somewhat of a chance to play the game. It's freezing. Somewhat of a chance, man. Somewhat of a chance. These QTEs every single time. These fake damn QTEs making me believe I could uh, roll around. I ain't doing a damn thing here. That was close. I didn't think the big one would follow me. But he did. I need to contact headquarters somehow. <laughs> you see.
see, but you will get stutters like these when you have a low end CPU, unfortunately. This is just how it goes sometimes. It'll get better because obviously, it's com it's, I'm using the RedX 12, so compiling shaders is a thing. It'll drop eventually. Probably should have used the RedX 11. Not really, too much effort. Oh, I didn't even move and he missed that. Crazy. Ain't that wild though? So now we can play the game. Game still looks great on a 620 and is running perfectly fine. Look at that. That was beautiful. But anyway, I'm just going to mute myself now. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy. Their heart rate. The worst is over. Now comes the road to recovery. Good thing we got there in time. Hmm? What's that? It's Your suppressor has been replaced with a new energy cell. Feeling better? Much better. And you are? And your weapon is on top of that crate. Don't forget to pick it up. Am I right? Did both you and Zeke grow up here? We have been living here since we were very little. There weren't a lot of people back then. Everyone chipped in to build this place little by little. Hmm? Generation Smart Servant. Mia's my assistant. Zeke 
found her in one of the ruins. But its language model is a little buggy, so it talks funny sometimes. I apologize. I will do my best to make my speech intelligible. Oh, you're fine, Mia. <laughs> Come with me, please. We should not keep Miss Celine waiting. Battleship up ahead? That's the Bethlehem. My brother said it's been here for 50 years. 50 years? Yeah, when the cataclysm took place, an Omnium explosion destroyed an entire fleet that was patrolling nearby. Only the Bethlehem managed to land on the island. The shelter was built around its remains. Hey, that's Celine. Let's head on over. So, you're the one they rescued from outside? Hello, I am here to... You don't seem to be older than Shirley. The outside world must not have been kind to you. Nothing like some brand new clothes, am I right? Thanks for your help. Anyway, now that's done. You can really show the newcomer around the shelter. See if anything needs help. Leave it to me. I think she likes you. This is the control room. You can monitor every nook and cranny of the shelter here. <laughs> 